Hey guys, what's the channel dudes? Welcome back to another Kiwi Maze Custom Maps episode. This is episode 12. <laughs> you guys can see the video title. I can't. I think it's episode 12. Uh, you're going to be seeing this a lot later. It's uh, basically a detection to whether I'm on a light with it, uh, light weighted pressure plate. I'll talk about it later. Uh, it is a pretty nifty and pretty unique idea I want to show you guys. But yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of work on this map actually. So my new focus is work on the map, uh, work on the single player map instead of the multiplayer for now because we can release the single player a lot easier than uh, the multiplayer. But I've been doing a lot of work on the second single player map and hopefully we should be seeing a release for that soon. I'm currently working on stage 10 and once it's about stage 18 we might work on like another single player map and then release uh, both the second and third single player maps all together as one. Uh, but let's get started. First of all, I want to score players set Torbray uh, single player. I want to show you guys that I've actually like fixed everything up from the previous corruption thing. So everything is working and fixed as it's supposed to be. So currently, uh, with the single player map A1, that means that we're in the lobby rooms, like all of these areas. And then the, we're basically 99, which means we're not in any stage yet. So, first of all, we go like that. I'll take you through a run-through of everything that's going on. We're on stage 1, none of the like dialogue is working at the moment. But, but this is basically where you go, your inventory is cleared, and it's a pretty simple uh, second single player map uh, stage where you just find the door. Uh, I have named this map actually, it's called Enter the Dungeon, so that's pretty good. Uh, what is this one? This one is just a different door. I think I've shown you guys already a lot of the stuff, but I'm just showing you, like, it's pretty much fixed. Where was this one? I think this one was down below here. And then I've been... Oh, uh, no, it's up top. So, also I've completed Stage 9's Redstone, and I've fixed Stage 6 from last time, so I'll show you guys those. Stage 9 is a little bit weird. It's upside down, but I had to make a lot of adjustments, so... Yeah, we should be stage 3. Yeah, we're stage 3. Sweet. Uh, let's go over here, let's go through here. We're gonna have some dialogue for that mountainous transition as well later on. What's this one? This one is down below and then to the right. Uh, yeah, like the stuff in which we need the dialogue, like stage 3, yada yada yada, that's going to have to be essential to this map. And we're going to have a need to use a lot of sound effects as well. Uh, do 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 stage four, pretty simple. That was door D then door A, which is basically you have to go through one door before you go to the next. Uh, what's this one? This one is key required. So yeah, I fixed this one up again. I think I showed you it last time, but I've changed it very slightly. Hold this key in the third slot to open the door on the right. It's just making it a little bit easier to understand because it wasn't too easy to understand in the beginning. But that is pretty simple in itself. Inventory should be cleared and we get given the map. I really like the idea of the clear inventory thing because it just... Uh, it doesn't interfere with uh, future future stages and whatnot. This one is deja vu so this one's pretty normal. You just go to the door on the right, your inventory is cleared and you, go, you get upgraded to stage 6. Stage 6 I did fix, I think I did say it, but we've got the three zombie hunters again. Okay, oh I must have forgotten to kill all of the zombie hunters in this uh, map before. Yeah, so we probably have six. That's a, oh, that's a bug I do need to fix. Kill all the zombies in the map before, um, before uh, we spawn any more zombies. Otherwise we'll have, I think we have six now. We have, yeah, we have some over here. How's it going, guy? The, the mob AI is really, really weird in the snapshots, but hopefully they get fixed. Then you go over here to finish up. Stage 7. What was stage 7? I can't even remember half of these stages. Um, can't, uh, can't even remember this. Um, hmm. What was it? Oh no, this one was final door, right, so you press the button uh, which goes to the next room, but it's not a proper door. It is now a proper door, so that one was pretty simple to program. I mean, stage 8. Just catching you guys up on what's going on. This is bunny hopping, this one's just normal jumping. Uh, this one, I think the door's to the right. Hey, 
Hey, hey. This one's so irritating to get through, actually. Sweet. And then this one is new. You guys haven't seen it yet, but this is stage nine. <laughs> stage nine is upside down. This one is probably one of the most uh, redstone-y out of all of these stages because like the person in these maps never gets any jump boost so I had to create some like an overall jump boost for any of these areas which needed jump boost so for example here it's a two uh, two block high jump so we needed to give the player jump boost too but also I didn't want to give like the player jump boost during corridors otherwise it'd be irritating to go around so this area is jump boost too uh, over here this area is jump boost 5 I think yeah, it was really irritating to program all of these. And then we, like, I flipped it over in MC Edit. That one is, like, flipped over in MC Edit. That's pretty easy to understand. But then had to choreogra uh, choreograph, choreograph uh, all of the jump boosts in the different areas in which you could get stuck. Like over here, for example. Uh, this is, like, upside down, but uh, need this, w this area was really weird because this place needed a jump boost free. This one needed a normal jump boost from there but also I needed a jump boost 4 from over there as well so that one was pretty irritating to choreograph but uh, I didn't do it on camera because it was just a lot of technical redstone and then this uh, gets upgraded and then that's the extent of what's happened uh, for the uh, single player uh, no for the map and then we're currently working on the stage 10 which I'll just quickly show you I think and then I'll show you what we're planning to go with so, if we go to the right, and we go up the staircase, we will come across this big giant X. And what I'm planning for this one is for it to be our there be treasure. So this is like the X marks the spot. And as soon as you approach it, it reveals a, well, it's a gold block right now, but it reveals a chest underneath. And then the chest will have uh, enough materials to create a lightweight pressure plate. So if we break into this chest over here, I'm using the clone command to clone it over there. Uh, you see lots of random uh, materials, but over here we've got like golden nuggets and whatnot. Uh, what I'm thinking with this is the player gets given enough gold to create a lightweight press plate, and then he can place it underneath him, and then that's when the uh, command block, which I showed you earlier, comes in. So let's get our developer tools. Do, do, do. So over here, this is to test for any lightweight press plate underneath the player. So if we so I'm using the execute detect uh, command, so you start off with the execute and then it's got this. So it executes on any player with single player a 2 equals uh, 210 and then uh, score single player a 2 minimum of 210 which is on the right, so it's multi uh, single player map 2 stage uh, 10 and then I'll just quickly add this and then anyone within the map uh, SP map A2 minimum equals 2. So anyone within the single, uh, second single player map uh, to detect a Minecraft lightweighter pressure plate uh, where the player is or at his feet and make sure it's powered. So 1. And then if it does, then it sets the player, uh, the nearest player who's in the second single player map, to a new scoreboard called stage 210 one and that allows us to do a lot of things which I haven't actually programmed yet but that's what we're currently working on um, yeah but a few hours have gone into the making of this so what I'm thinking with this is after it detects a lightweight pressure plate at first uh, let's see let's get a command block if anyone's wondering, I just hooked it up, like hooked up the system. If you have a gunpowder, then you get given a command block. So what I'm thinking is um, execute at p score. Uh, sing. Let's start with single player a two equals to ten score. Single player a two minimum equals to ten score. Um, anyone within the map, so. The second single player map, uh, or anyone with a score of two in scoreboard SP map A1. 
and then specifically anyone there and then we have the third variable which is stage to 10 equals one score stage to 10 and equals one if you if you ever try to do that in if you ever try to like type all of it down in the chat down below it would run out of space you can do it in this one though uh, that and then we do set block do 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 air so first of all that's got to clear the lightweight of pressure plate that make sure that we can reset the map for next time and then well, we'll have to copy all of this over over there eventually um, do 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 that does that and then going let's get the set block redstone block which allows the player to advance to the next level so for stage one this is the block which sends a redstone block which initiates all the redstone which allows the person to upgrade to the next level that goes uh, hmm. goes like that and then we get this command and then we do that sweet so then it allows the player to advance to the next level and then finally uh, it executes for anyone who's of score stage to 10 to be set back to player set at Oh no, it's just, no, it's scoreboard, um, sorry, uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool to do this with you guys, just to show you how I approach a lot of these, score, stage to 10, equals 1, score, stage, and if anyone's wondering why I'm using 1, it's kind of the boolean programming language, so 1 is yes and 0 is no, so it's like, if so is someone read? one yes zero no because then with programming you can uh, program later on uh, you can therefore detect what you want to do with the person uh, score zero all right sweet I'm gonna go copy that over and I'll see you guys in a little bit all right let's test this out do 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 all right so we should be able to go right through this door up these stairs. Bum, 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 bum. Have we gone there? Yep. <laughs> the X disappears. Pretty cool. Uh, we go in here. We get our gold nuggets. That's the only thing. Oh. Oh. I see the issue. Right. One second. My bad. I thought the gold nuggets could be. I thought the golden ingot could be crafted in the crafting inventory screen. Right. Let's get rid of those nine. Uh, do, do, do. We should be able to make ourselves a lightweight. We can't place it, huh? Huh. Well, this this plan's falling apart, huh? Maybe we could do it on the crafting bench. All right. I think this should be able to pl <laughs> be placed on any stone brick. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Uh. Oh no. Actually, we chuck it in the original chest. Let's chuck it. I don't know there. Oh, sorry guys. Um, my bad. Uh, how do we... I don't even know how to reset this. I don't know, let's... Why don't we just give one of these ourselves? And we could go test it ourselves. Hopefully we... Yeah, we can place it on there. Shouldn't... Okay, let's test this out. Uh... Bugger. Lots of bugs. This is what I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh dear. One second, guys. Alright, let's see. Do do do. Oh, something happened. Something happened. It kind of happened, kind of didn't. Looks like something went wrong. Let's go check it out. Do do do. So, there were a few bugs, uh, first of all, but that was mostly because my command for the original testing was wrong. I had SP map A2 and scoreboard underscore... Um, scoreboard underscore single player map, uh, single player A2 stuff like that. 
Uh, looks like it's working though, so let's see which one wasn't working. That worked. This didn't work. Huh, what happened there? Uh, score, single player A2, single player A2, A1, A1, stage 2, 10, 2, 10, minimum, set block, rest of block. What was wrong with the entity? Is there anything wrong? There's nothing wrong. 2, 10, 2, 10. Maybe these need to be switched around? I don't know. Some of this stuff is really, really irritating in terms of the switch, like the ordering, because it, you'd think that it'd go lower there and then the top. Sometimes it's the other way around. Actually, I don't know. I need to have like a lesson on it. I don't know. It's kind of irritating. I've said that already, bro. Uh, oh, not not stage mode, game mode. Okay, here we go. So let's do this from full. See whether this works. Uh, so you go up here. Do do do. Press clears. Get there. Let's quickly get a crafting bench because we forgot to add it over here. Dang it. Oh no, we actually don't need a crafting bench we, because we get given the weighted pressure plate. I forgot. Dang. I suck. So, pressure plate. Do, do, do. Go mode. Down here. Hey, it worked. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sweet. Oh, that is awesome. I like that. That's been a pretty nifty feature. I, I like that a lot. And I don't even know what the stage is. But I think we'll call it an episode here. I've been doing a lot of work off camera and it's gotten to the point where I kind of need a break. And I want to get this released for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's just the default template. Uh, but that, anyway, cheers for watching dudes. I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, have a good day. Catch you later guys. And have a good one.